It took more than three years, but tonight we finally have the final federal report into the TPC disaster in Port Natchez. The explosions damaged hundreds of homes and businesses, and the U.S. Chemical Safety Board says the company knew it had major problems. Popcorn polymers get blamed for the explosions. That is exactly what 12 News Investigates looked into more than a year ago when we highlighted the thousands of families who had sued the TPC group. The feds say those polymers built up in a dead leg section of piping. The clogged lines ruptured and then released a flammable liquid into the air, mostly toxic butadiene. That vapor cloud then exploded, injuring two TPC employees and a security contractor. The fire at the facility burned for more than a month. The CSB chairperson Steve Owens said, quote, the incident at TPC was the result of a known safety hazard, popcorn polymer, that was poorly managed and controlled at the facility. The result was a catastrophic incident that caused hundreds of millions of dollars in damage to the facility and nearby homes and businesses. Meanwhile, those thousands of families who sued the company say they're still waiting for justice. We know TPC Group filed for bankruptcy protection last June in the state of Delaware. That paused the lawsuits, but the victim's attorneys tell 12 News the suits are expected to move forward soon. We'll show you some of the damage. Continuing coverage on the, uh, the blast and the aftermath and those lawsuits online now at 12newsnow.com.